I'm Anil Kumar. Here is an example on quadratic equation. The equation is determine zeros of a parabola with vertex 2 minus 12 and passing through point 1 minus 9. So we can write equation of a parabola in vertex form. So y equals to a times x minus p whole square plus q. Now here we are given the vertex. So p and q values are P is 2, Q is minus 12, right? And the point is given as 1 minus 9. That should help us to find the equation. First, let me use the vertex points P and Q. We could rewrite this as Y equals to A times X minus 2 whole square and the Y value is minus 12. To find the value of A, we'll use the point 1 minus 9. Y is minus 9. A times 1 minus 2 whole square minus 12 minus 9 equals 2 that is 1 which is a minus 12 bringing 12 to this side we get 12 minus 9 equals to a or a is equals to 3 correct so that gives us the equation of the parabola right so first step getting the equation which is y equals to 3 x minus p, I mean, sorry, y equals to 3, we know p is 2, right? So, x minus 2, whole square minus 12. Now, the question is, how to find zeros from this equation? Yes, how to find zeros from this equation? You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now, to find zeros, zeros really mean that y value equals to zero that is what it means okay so we have to solve this equation by placing y equals to zero so we'll place y zero and now we have this equation as three times x minus two whole square minus 12. how to solve such an equation so to solve this equation we have to find the value of x we can bring 12 on the left side, divide by 3, square root, add 2. So these are the steps involved, correct? So let's do it. So we have 12 equals to 3 times x minus 2 whole square. 12 divided by 3 is x minus 2 whole square, which is 4, right? 4 equals to x minus 2 whole square. So we come to this stage. Let me rewrite this equation as x minus 2 whole square equals to 4. Now from here, we have to get the solution of x. I've seen students making a mistake even at, at this stage. So look very carefully. Now to solve, we have to do square root, correct? So we'll do square root both sides. So we are doing square root of x minus 2 uh, whole square, correct? And we are doing square root of 4. Now when you do square root of 4, you should be very careful in taking both positive and negative value. The idea is the x value, whether it, well, this part in this parenthesis could be negative or positive, when you square it becomes positive. So, so there are two solutions, okay? If you miss this, you are going to miss the solution. So that's what it is. So we should write this as x minus 2 equals 2. Square root of 4 is 2 plus minus 2. So that gives us two solutions. So x is equals to plus 2, that is 2 plus minus 2, right? So there are two solutions. One is x equals to 2 plus 2. The other one is x equals to 2 minus 2. So that gives us x equals to 4 and this gives us x equals to 0. So these are the two solutions for the given condition. Do you see that? So that is how you're going to solve this quality equation. So first step is to make one and then solve it as we did. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope these steps help you to understand the very basic concept of solving quality equations from the given conditions. Thank you and all the best.